bring yourself a picnic, a picnic lunch and enjoy the surrounding of Lake Kerford. The sights and sound. So please enjoy. Welcome to Trev's Bushland Adventures for another episode right here in Lake Kerford which is somewhat between Beechworth and Stanley. It's a beautiful area. You can't do go boating, you can't go swimming in the water because everything is protected. This is a wildlife area. So for the nature habitat, very quiet here, very peaceful. So let's enjoy, enjoy it. This was once the scene of an annual rowing regatta. The lake and surrounding bushland is a treat for nature lovers, offering habitat to a rich diversity of animal and bird life. The lake can be assessed by a five kilometer walking track or by a car. There are picnic spots and fishing is allowed. Beechworth relies on this water. As you can see, there's no there's no boating uh, to be allowed when you're swimming. But this is the way it is. But we've got to protect, protect the environment, the nature habitat here at Lake Kerford. It's, it's very quiet, you can see, because there's no one boating, no one swimming, no one fishing. Protected area. Very quiet area too. eighteen sixty two to retain the waters of Hurdle Swamp for gold mining activities. So that was when this lake was created. Eighteen sixty two. During the gold rush. So this all this water was used for the gold mining. Yeah. But history eh?
Well, as you can see, this is the weir of Lake Kerford. And this is the uh, the chute, the spillway actually, where I'm standing. Not much water coming down, so um, when you get a lot of rain, a lot of rain, this lake will fill up and it all goes down the down down the chute. <laughs> So it's a beautiful area, as you can see behind me, it's just a trickle of water coming down. And uh, yeah, so. Because we haven't had much rain really up here. So as you can see, the water goes right down. So that's a surrounding area. Hope you're enjoying this, yeah. Lovely area, very quiet. All we can hear is the trickle of the water. Okay, now we're going for now another track around the lake, Kerford. So here we go. Very bushy. Nice area. Of course, in the distance is the lake. Now where we have here, on our track, we have blackberry bushes, full of blackberries. And uh, yeah, let's see if I can pick one. Don't fall in, Trev. Hmm. Oh, good. Lake Kerford, blackberries. <laughs> this is really good. There's some more up there. So if you're lost in the bush, you know where there's food. And if you're lost, you know where there's food. And you get hungry and thirsty, blackberries. Mm. Yeah, that's sweet, very sweet. Mm. I remember years ago, my mum and dad, we used to go blackberry picking. We did, it were good times. <laughs> and, uh, 
but the thing is, picking blackberries, Dad was wearing his overalls because it's very prickly. Me wearing thongs and shorts, trying to pick the blackberries and getting scratched by the legs. <laughs> getting scratched by the uh, blackberry bushes. And, uh, because we used to pick blackberries and make, Mum used to make jam out of them. Blackberry jam. I love blackberry jam. Do you? Yes. Okay, let's push on. And here we have a boardwalk. <laughs> Boardwalk. Remember that song? Under the boardwalk, down by the sea. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. so far. Terrific. This is good. I like this. As you can see the blackberry bushes but you don't want to fall into them. Oh. What's the sign here? I wonder what it is. Annie's Swamp. Look at the blackberries. Oh. Blackberries. Hmm. There you go. My mum's, my my dad's mother. Her name was Annie. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Some more blackberries. If my dad was here, he'd be having a feast of blackberries. Mm, sweet. Mm. Now along this track, you might remember on the Magic Forest tour, there were numerous not mine shafts, uh, gold mine shafts. So along this track, along Lake Kerford area. There are there's quite a few of them here it is. And here's one of them. There's another there's one there. And I think there's one down there. They're mine shafts, old mine shafts. And there's another one here. Yeah. So there are quite a bit, quite a few in there. So you gotta watch where you're walking keep on the track and this place is absolutely awesome it is a beautiful area a very friendly foot track here takes you through the bush right through the forest you can hear the birds lots of nature this is where you should be come here Lake Kerfit. Now I mentioned before you can't swim, you can't go boating but you can fish. You can take your little rod do a little bit of fishing. You can do that. Yes, I had to make a correction there. I did say, I said before you couldn't do fishing so um, but you can so that's the only thing you can do and just listen and watch and dream 
na boš. that walk in the boardwalk <laughs> oh yeah now along this track you uh, this is what I came upon and I want to show you something here very interesting this is um Here. That looks like a spider web. It's spider web. Now I'm thinking it could be a trapdoor spider in there. A trapdoor spider? They are very aggressive because when anything gets in its way you'll grab it very very quickly yeah there are different species of spiders that live underground yeah so the, um, get this thing in focus Now talking about jump, uh, trapdoor spiders, there's also jumping spiders in the ground, jumping spiders. Now, I'm going to stand back. Now that web is about there, where my finger is. Jumping spiders can jump out of that hole right from where I'm standing. They can jump. Yeah, and they jump very quickly. Yeah, usually you find them in the, um, in the salt bush areas, in the salt bush plains or the outback scrub. So uh, yeah, so I think I, I haven't seen the spider, but I'm sure you spider enthusiasts might know about that one, this one here. I'm thinking it could be a trapdoor spider, and they are very aggressive and they are venomous, I believe, and they will bite. Yeah, very much like the funnel web spiders. And uh, yeah. Wow, I'm smacking in the middle of the bush. I've gone, I've walked so far in the bush around the lake that this track looks like it's sort of drifting away from the lake. So um, the track looks quite endless. Looks like it's going to keep on going forever. <laughs> so I've never been on this track before. But anyway, I don't know where this goes. I think this track probably go on, go to a road. So um, we're not going to see much of the lake at the moment because it's all bush. We can't see it because we're sort of drifting away from the bush. Drifted, we sort of drifted away from the lake. So all we're seeing is nothing but bush. But I'm really enjoying this walk. I really did. So, uh, I hope you're enjoying it. So, I'm going to walk back now. A long, it's going to be a long walk back to, uh, to the car. So, I'm going to end this vlog. And I hope you enjoyed. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you when I get back to the picnic area. And it's a great place to come. And uh, so, get out, of, get out of your office. And... Uh, Spend a full day here at Lake Kerford. Yeah, it's cool. I love it. I really do. So quiet, listen to the birds. Oh, so serene.
and of course this is the main area reserve of Lake Kerford got a sort of a, like a shelter over there information about fish what to fish and uh, yeah and of course the weir where we were before is right down the other end of that path so uh, all the information about trout trout cod all the photos information so you can fish here yeah so there you go have a look around Isn't that beautiful Enjoyed Lake Kerford. Great day, beautiful day. My next episode will be uh, in Beechworth, Lake Sample. We're going to discover Lake Sample and its history. See you there. She's waiting.